Calling back on what we just did in Part 7, which was the World Heavyweight Championship match between Del Rio and Big Show, uh, I went on record of saying I think Del Rio is winning and Big Show is going to attack him afterward. Dolph Ziggler is going to cash in because he doesn't have a match in the card. And the person he's feuding with right now does have a match on the card where he becomes a number one contender. If he would have had a feud going on with somebody like Kofi Kingston right now, then it would be a different story and they might just throw the match on the card. Kind of like uh, Wade Barrett and Bo Dallas don't have a match right now, but they could end up popping up. Uh, what I'm predicting for this match, the number one contenders match, is we're going to come down to either Chris Jericho and Daniel Bryan in the finals or Chris Jericho and Randy Orton. And I think more than likely Randy Orton probably would be in the finals, but that's kind of hard to say because a lot of times, you know, if you do two baby faces or something like that, but then again, Orton wants to turn heel. So maybe they could use that. I don't think Mark Henry is going to be in the finals. I, I highly, highly, highly doubt that Kane is. Um, more than likely, uh, uh, as far as eliminations go, Dan, Daniel Bryan and Kane have to uh, interact with each other. I personally would like it if they were the first two people in the elimination chamber. I don't know about you guys. That'd make it interesting. Make the, all the other four people the four people in the pods. Uh. Yeah. And that's, it would, it would um, basically continue the whole dissension. You know, Brian eliminated Kane from the Royal Rumble. Kane basically caused Brian's elimination from the Rumble to be official. And it's like, you know, they'll – what do they do? Do they fight? Do they team up? Right. It leads a lot of what are they going to do? Now, like I had mentioned earlier, if I were booking this, neither of them would be in the Elimination Chamber match. We would have a tag team title match. We'd have Antonio Cesaro in the Miz or Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow, blah, 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 blah. We already did that. Um, I'm interested to see Jack Swagger's involvement in this, but I think he's just going to get an RKO. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mark too. Henry should be interesting, but Henry has to be eliminated by one of the baby faces, either Kane I, or uh, Randy Orton. See, this I'll is see where Henry my opinion can fly everybody. Do you see Henry uh, actually getting eliminated? Because this is where you people are probably going to look at me and go, what the fuck? Whoa, I whoa, see whoa, him. whoa. You people? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but that's my line. <laughs> I'm I'm I, well, I see him winning this chamber match. I well, don't see him losing. Well, let's break down person to person. Does anybody think that Randy Orton's going to win? No. Nope. Not at all. Nope. All right. Well, then we can rule it, R- Orton out. Uh, does anybody think that Randy Orton's going to be the second uh, to last person that's going to nope. win? Nope. Uh, I, I think that there's a very good chance that he could be the last person eliminated just because he's kind of a big enough name. Um, more than likely, though, I think Daniel Bryan is. Um, Jack Swagger, does anybody think that he's going to win? No, absolutely I not. I do. You, you think it's going to be a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are people that are saying that they think that Swagger is going to face Del Rio. I, I didn't mean to laugh well. at you for thinking that he's going to win. It was just like the way you were like... Uh, I do. I do. I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but yeah, I, yeah, I do. And um, uh, uh, my reason being is that... Um, I mean, think about it. When's the last time Swagger had a, had a title? I, I try not to think of those days. Right. <laughs> it was the United States title reign before he lost it to Santino and had probably the worst year of his entire career. Uh, yeah. So so now with with him coming back, I think it. But I think he's about due. If they're gonna if, <laughs> if they're gonna give him a, if they're gonna give him a big enough push, might as well start oh, it there. Gimmick, his gimmick is young. He's got enough time. To go for the world championship, he doesn't need it yet. Uh, also, do we really I, need a repeat of him winning something big like this, like him winning the Money in the Bank out of nowhere and just flopping upon being thrusted into a huge spot all of a sudden? Apparently, that spot was supposed to be Cody's, but we'll go into that later on. Uh, Chris Jericho. Now, I like I said before, I think Jericho is winning this and Dolph Ziggler's cashing in on Alberto Del Rio and we're going to have the two of them face each other. I think the, the negative side of that is that it's going to prevent the Del Rio and Ziggler feud, but at the same time, I think that's a positive because I don't think that that would be a good match going into WrestleMania. That could be a good feud later on to do, but For the I think... For pay-per-views that follow. I think that mm-hmm. Jericho's involvement in this build-up to WrestleMania 
and the fact that they didn't have a singles match between Jericho and Ziggler on the Elimination Chamber card is because they want to have a match at WrestleMania. And I don't wow. think that they're going to have a standard match at WrestleMania over uh, having... Because I can't see Del Rio facing like Mark Henry or something like that and making it interesting enough. Uh, but I could see them having Del Rio in a normal match with like... Well, maybe with Jack Swagger as like an undercard kind of a bathroom break kind of a thing. Yeah, well, also consider they're, they're doing this whole thing where Jack Spiker has a problem with the minorities of America. And this is going to be in the New York City area, which has a very high Latino population. Mm-hmm. It, it could yeah. do big bucks. It could. Uh, the And if they do have Dolph Ziggler go into WrestleMania as the world heavyweight champion, I think it's going to be that culmination of the buildup of why aren't they pushing this guy? Why isn't he the main event and all that? And Jericho is going to lose because I think you're going to have that typical, um, we want the one championship to change hands and the other one not to. And if you have John Cena beating the rock at WrestleMania for the WWE championship at the end of the show, you can have the heel retain the world heavyweight title earlier on, earlier on in the show, two or three matches beforehand. I don't think that they would give that match the match right before the Rock and Cena one. I think they're going to give that to Brock and Triple H because of his ego and everything like that. <laughs> um, this match will open the show as it has the last number of years. It'll either open the show, second or third match. And yeah, it'll, I think I see him more going on fourth this year than anything. But I'm I'm going on record of saying I think we're going to have that. And if we do, I'll be fucking ecstatic because I did not want to see Del Rio in the championship match against. Uh, somebody like a big show or something like that. I certainly didn't want to see, um, uh, you know, like Kane, like why, why don't we talk? Does anybody think Kane's going to win? No, uh, nope. absolutely not. He's one half of the tag champions. The same reason I don't see Daniel Bryan winning either. Does anybody see Daniel Bryan winning? No, no. Well, listen, John Cena and Shawn Michaels were one half of the tag champions when they went into WrestleMania. Yeah, but then, um, they had a program Shawn with Michaels each other though. Cost C, the tag titles. Well, Kane and Daniel Bryan can have a program with each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I see them more defending the actual. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah move, I know. Move along. <laughs> but you didn't go to Mark Henry yet. I want to save him for last because you were saying that you wanted to. Uh, you think that he's going to win? I do think he's so. Going to elaborate. Win. So do I. Okay. Basically, I don't think they're just going to bring him back, have him start tearing through everybody, have him beat Orton once just to have him lose the chamber and get lost in the shuffle without some sort of major championship match. That's number one. Number two, I see them really continuing this thing with Del Rio where he keeps ha- he keeps having to defend the title against the big, angry monsters. You know, he finishes up with Big Show and it's like, oh, fuck, now I got to defend the title against Mark Henry and it's at the biggest show of the year and I could potentially lose again. So they're going to build towards this thing where it's impossible for him to do it. He probably pulls it off, and then that's when finally Dolph Ziggler cashes in the money in the bank. You know, after Henry destroys Del Rio, basically what you're saying Big Show's going to do here. I see Henry doing that at actual WrestleMania. And then Ziggler takes advantage of that and becomes – he gets huge heat from taking the cheapest win in history and wins the world title then. That is why I think Mark Henry is winning this chamber. It's because it's going to build towards that certain program to continue the Del Rio versus the Giants thing that's been going on. And basically is the catalyst to finally having Dolph Ziggler cash in the money in the bank. Those are my reasons. It's classic wrestling. Hulk Hogan went all over the world making tons and tons of money with the same basic principle. The superhero fighting the giant monster, and will he be able to overcome it? He did it with everybody. He did it with Hercules. He did it with Earthquake. They just kept bringing in all these new people, and it did it gangbusters. So it's it's wrestling 101, and it's, it's kind of cool to see him just going for it. Well, we haven't seen it yet, but I would like to see him just go with that old-school approach with it and do a Mark Henry, Alberto Del Rio feud going into WrestleMania. Now, do you think if they do Del Rio and Henry that – Ziggler and Jericho will just have like a standard match. Yes, I absolutely. Do think that's going to I'm be on the card as well. Ziggler, I thought Jericho, they were building towards Mania. that the night he came back at the Royal Ziggler, Rumble. Ziggler, Jericho, Mania. That's what's going to happen. It's definitely going to be for the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, here's interesting because I didn't factor this in. 
if we get the rumored Randy Orton Sheamus match, and if we do get something like uh, Jericho and Ziggler for the title, where does not only uh, Big Show but Mark Henry fit in? Because I can't see them having the two of them, either of them, turn face. And they can't have both of them against Ryback unless they do a triple threat or something like that, but I can't see them doing that either. And the rumor is more so likely that they would do a big show against uh, Ryback than bring in Mark Henry. I'm thinking it's Henry. It's probably going to be Henry versus Ryback because they're apparently going to scrap plans for show versus Ryback. It's probably going to end up being show versus Alberto Del Rio. In another another match? I don't think... I really hope they don't do that. What, a grudge match? Yeah, it's going to be their final match, I believe. I don't, I don't see him um, steering away from it because if he ends up costing Del Rio the championship, Del Rio's going to be pissed. So he's going to be coming out to show again. Hmm. One more. One more and they, they do have a tendency the past few years, now that they don't have money in the bank, to throw a multi-man match on the card. Yeah. And I think that that's where we might find Mark Henry. Probably, yeah. Again? Mm. He does have a tendency. I don't see it as likely. I see them using him in a much bigger role. And I, I think the main reason he was involved in one of those was because he was battling injury. He's fresh off an injury now. Well, what about all these WrestleMania. rumors that um, that he might have even been retiring instead of coming back and all that? You think it was kind of all bullshit? Or do you think that... No, I think if he gets injured again, he's done. Yeah, I'm with Burhan there. I don't see him. I, he will get injured This again. next run is no, his last. To Henry. I... Don't know about that. Mark Henry looks to be in very good shape right now. He looks like he's lost a bit of weight. He's moving pretty good. He, he, it's very likely like he can't get injured again. He has his eyes closed. Hmm? Well, that's just uh, his skull shape. Yeah, yeah that's that, that's the way he looks. Eye, you look like you have caterpillars on your face. What's the big yeah. deel? And I've seen the face to face. I've seen the face to face when I when I was working and um working here in Baltimore in, in a mall, and um that's the way that's the way his head is shaped and eyes are shaped. It's, he does, it's not like he's squinting. He just looks like a real angry dog all the time until he smiles. <laughs> he's the silverback. Love yeah. Mark Henry. I see it, right? Look at him when he first started in WWE, and look at him now. And the fact is, he's far too big, like in regards to his frame. Once he quits wrestling, I could see him losing a shit ton of weight because he's the, the how big Henry is. There's not really much there to sort of move with. He's not fast. He's very sluggish in the ring. He's very dominant. And the way they're playing his character at the moment is the best way they can. There's no other way to actually put him like. Well, and it actually worked too. Do you not remember the fall of Henry in 2011? Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. Um, it didn't draw. But it was brilliant. It did draw, though. It drew higher ratings than when Orton was champion. Yeah, true. Significantly higher. All right, rematch, uh, grudge match at WrestleMania, Mark Henry and Hornswoggle. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you talking about? The way I see out of my face, <laughs> they're either going to do a multi-man match with Ziggler at Mania, or they're going to have Ziggler versus Jericho, which is the match that I'm pegging. Because why else would you insert Jericho into that into that match when it wasn't a spot? In the first place? Yeah. It makes sense. I mean, have Ziggler. I mean, have Jericho go against the guy that actually kicked kicked him out. So yeah, yeah. At the it's very the least, I'll give I'll give I, WWE I has a hand in it. I'll give WWE credit on this one. That's got us talking about this match. And before mm-hmm. before this week, I had no interest in it at all when Rey Mysterio was in it and everything like that. So. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. That's the thing I'm watching more so than anything else, even more so than the next part, which is going to be The Rock and CM Punk for the WWE title. 